Queen Elizabeth, your cousin Mary has returned to take up her throne in Scotland. She is formidable. Mary was very, very pretty, very charismatic, and grew up with this real confidence and security in herself. My dearest cousin Elizabeth, I hope we might meet in person, that I might embrace you. Ruling side by side, we must do so in harmony, and not through a treaty drafted by men lesser than ourselves. She had this light that just radiated from her. She was magnetic. You dare touch a sovereign without her permission. She's impulsive and daring. And Elizabeth, although she has a very commanding presence, is someone who is much more cautious and thinks and measures and weighs things up. They were playing the same game in very different ways. You have the boldness to doubt my judgment. You had better question yours. I think Mary ruled with her heart and Elizabeth ruled with her head. Mary, because of her humanity and because of how open she was with people, sometimes that was also her weakness too. There are times for wisdom and there are times for love, but there are also times for strength. In Saoirse and Margot, we have two young women at the height of their powers. Josie was relentless. She said, I don't want you to play a queen, I want you to play a woman. It is a huge responsibility to bring these two women to life. I think we've got two of the most exceptional actresses of their generation in those roles. Should you murder me, remember you murder your sister. And you murder your queen. <laughs>